Hello again my friends, it's your buddy Sivonom here again today, and in this video we are towing the base of Aiden. So he messaged us wanting us to come here, check out his base. This is in creative, it's not in survival, but still, it looks amazing. So we're gonna get right into this. I'm just gonna start us off. Hey, right, yeah, so pretty much this base is scale. It is super, super big. So we started walking through the double gates. Here we have a nice little rock path. He told me he uh, got the inspiration to build this base from uh, Riverton, from Skyrim. And you can definitely see it, especially with the big waterway he has in the middle. But we're going to start over here, because this is not a complete building. It's like his newest project. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a warehouse, a massive warehouse. And I would love to show you inside, but it's taking me a while to run over there. But, alright, so here we have it. It has three doors. But look at the size of it. He can do so much in here. He said he was going to put up a whole bunch of, like, log holders, stick holders, rock holders, have cabinets, you know, just massive, massive amounts of storage. Hold, like, 10,000 logs in here, Jesus. Yeah, he could probably hold more than enough logs to rebuild this platform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, coming outside, we have a bunch of catapult turrets. So he can defend his docks, which are down there. I'm going to go ahead and hop off this. And down here in the docks, he has a whole bunch of uh, two-person rafts, which he's going to convert into a bunch of cargo rafts. So he can put log holders, stick holders, you know, all that jazz. He also has a houseboat that's furnished, so he can sleep out here if he needs to be working out on the docks. And that, oh god, I fell off. Well, this is a good time to show you the amazing feature he did add that I wish I added to our docks. Stairs. <laughs> Simple, yet so easy <laughs> to get back up. I'm surprised we never did use that. There are so many times when we were building our actual dock that we fell off and there was like <laughs> no way to get back up besides trying to super jump onto the dock. <laughs> I know, right? Like, why did we never ever build stairs? I have no idea. <laughs> but let's head over to the main platform, which is right over here. So I'm going to point out real quick. He does have a bunch of access so he can run along the perimeter and many, many points of entry to get upstairs. But uh, we're going to go over here. And he has a tennis court, which I think is really awesome. <laughs> so it has a whole shit ton of tennis rackets. You know, he even has the playing green, a nice little net going on. Uh, we'll have to find a tennis ball and see if we can whack some. I wonder if you could actually do that. I don't know. Oh, that's why I want to find a bunch of tennis balls. <laughs> All right, down here is his commercial district. So if you come inside, this is his skin shop. Not too much going on. Walk out in the back. You see he has a full stock of skins. So he could start building whatever he needs to. What he really is missing, though, is an, a bone basket. So he can make some bone armor. And a lot more mannequins. Yeah. But other than that, it's a nice start. Next building over is his tavern. He has a nice double door system going on, along with a covered patio and seating outside. It's got super warm but, lighting. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of skull lanterns going on. You're facing the wrong Apparently, way. Apparently, so. I do not know you how to use the bow. Yep. Yeah, spend too much time here. Too bad they don't have any bar stools. Right? That's what we need in this game. We need a lot more decorative items. Yes. yes. Anyway, if you come around back, you have some soda, some booze, some candies. Also, a really nifty little hand washing station. That makes for like a legit sink. Yeah, it I does. The legs didn't pop up down the bottom. Well, if you put, like, a rock wall right there, it'd look incredible. Yeah, 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 definitely. And he also has a a gun around back, just in case. But uh, let's head over next door. That's his armory. So pop up in here. He's got that whole cage cell thing going on that we had in our bunny fertility clinic. Along with a couple targets, so you can try out your new items. Damn, this place is stocked to the brim. Yep, and you head to the back, and this is where he keeps all the storage. So you purchase what you need at the counter, and the employee comes back here, grabs it, gives it to you. They have low stock on arrows. Yeah, they do. Anyway, let's head up to the uh, residential district. 
So here is the residential district. This is like where the middle class folks will live. All of these houses on this floor are furnished exactly the same way. So he has one large cabinet, a desk with a chair, a bench, and a bed. And it's all very well lit up. See, I can turn off my light. You can see what's going on. I mean, there is natural light going on as well, but it's lit up. The only complaint I have is these hallways at night, they get really dark. He needs to put up some, like, skull lanterns on the ceiling. Yeah, that'd be nice. Anyway, uh, heading downstairs, I was giving him some ideas of what he could do down here because it was big and empty, so I said, why not turn it into a slum? So here I have a whole bunch of just temporary shelters set up with a really crappy fire. But uh, I'm excited to see if he runs with this idea, if he tries something else. All right, now we're going to go ahead and head upstairs. So this is his recently added addition. He said he's going to make it essentially a really big garden up here. And he's going to plant a whole bunch of blueberry bushes. So pretty much rain falls in these collectors. In theory, they fall onto the plants. Everything stays watered, happy, and alive. So... Prior to getting on, I was telling Silvo that there's a really sketchy bedroom. So you want to go ahead and run in there, buddy? Just head to the bed. Oh! There's already someone in here. Oh. <laughs> I ate it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so if you were to sleep, you know, there'd be just two guys watching you. <laughs> yeah, that's super sketchy. Like, imagine falling <laughs> asleep and waking up and just two people just staring at you from each window. Hey, they're yep. good looking. You, you're just trying to go to sleep, and all you hear gently in the background is. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to it. Was that appropriate? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you decide. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Huge thanks to Aiden for letting us come out here and check out his base. Now, he said he's going to be working on a little bit more, so hopefully we can come back and visit. Like I said, probably about a month. But uh, like the video if you liked it. Definitely be sure to get subscribed if you want to see more content like this. And if you want to be featured in this series, go ahead and leave a comment down the bottom. And I'll be sure to get back to you. We can uh, check out your base and go on from there. But we're going to get out of here because we're just wrecking this poor kid's nice tennis court. See y'all next time.